to continue the introduction into metallography, we have a few more examples of where metallography is used. Note what we are describing is only a small fraction of the types of analysis that metallography has to offer. For electronic components, the integrity of the solder joints is very important for characterizing the reliability of electronic components. Composites are engineered materials which contain fillers in a matrix. Common fillers include ceramic or graphite particles and carbon and ceramic fibers. These fillers are encased or cast into a polymer, metal, or ceramic matrix. Metallographic analysis of composites includes analyzing the orientation and distribution of these fillers, voids, and other defects. Ductile cast irons are characterized by their nodularity. Gray cast iron is characterized by their graphite flakes. Since gray cast irons can eventually fail due to brittle fracture, ductile nodular cast irons are the preferred structure. To produce ductile cast irons, magnesium or cerium are added to the iron melt prior to solidification. Cross-sectional analysis is used to characterize the melt prior to pouring the entire batch. The recast layer is made up of molten metal particles that have been redeposited on the surface of the workpiece. Both the heat affected zone and recast layers can also contain microcracks, which could cause stress failures in critical components. The most common heat treating process for hardening ferrous alloys is known as carburizing. The carburizing process involves diffusing carbon into ferrous alloys at elevated temperatures. By quenching the metal immediately after carburizing, the surface layer can be hardened. Metallographic analysis, along with microhardness testing, can reveal details regarding the case hardness and its depth. Decarburization is a defect which can occur when carbon is lost at the surface of the steel when it is heated to high temperatures, especially in hydrogen atmospheres. The loss of carbon can reduce both the ductility and strength of the steel can also result in hydrogen embrittlement of the steel. Nitriding is a process for producing very hard case on tough steels. The process includes heating the steel to 500 to 540 degrees Celsius or 930 to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit in an ammonia atmosphere for about 50 hours. No additional quenching or heat treating is required. The Vickers hardness is about 1100 and the case depth is approximately 0.4 millimeters. Nitriding can improve the steel's corrosion resistance as well. Intergranular cracking or fracturing is a fracture that occurs along the grain boundaries of a material. An intergranular fracture can result from improper heat treating, inclusions, or second phase particles located at grain boundaries and at high cycling loads. Sensitization is a condition where the chromium as an alloy becomes depleted through the formation of chromium carbide at the grain boundaries. For welding, this occurs due to slow heating and cooling through a temperature range specific to the alloy being welded. For example, 300 series stainless steel forms chromium carbide precipitates at the grain boundaries in the range of 425 to 475 degrees C. Flow stress is the stress required to keep the metal flowing or deforming. The direction of the flow is also important. 